that don't result in a tilt code. The most common examples are coins jammed in the top of an acceptor or comparator, monitor problems, and player panel switch problems. We have now seen an overview of machine setup, introduced the machine modes, viewed both a typical real game and video game in the idle and game play modes. Next, we'll take a look at the self-test functions. Self-test functions on a real game are displayed using the LED display windows of Winner Paid and Coins Played. Note that the lower half of the candle light is flashing, indicating that the door is open. We will now consider tests 1, 2, and 3. Pressing the self-test button three times will bring us to the input portion of these tests. The coins played display shows that we are in test 1. The left side of the winner paid display shows that we are looking at input number 10. And the right side of that display shows that its state is 1 or on. With the newer optics and comparators, Optic A cannot be tested, but all other inputs can. There are approximately 22 inputs. Turning the jackpot reset key advances through the inputs to be tested. Then the individual inputs can be activated and the change of state can be observed on the winner paid window. Pressing the self-test switch a fourth time puts the machine into the output tests. Here, there are approximately 30 items that may be tested. Again, we see a number 10, drop meter test, in the left side of the winner paid display. This time, however, no indicator is on the right side, and now a number 2 appears in the coins played window. At this time, the output corresponding to the number in the winner paid display can be activated by pressing the spin reels button or pulling the handle. And again, stepping through the items to test is done with the jackpot reset key switch. Pressing the self-test switch three more times, for a total of seven, brings the technician to the hopper test. Notice that there is now a three in the coins played display window and a zero in the right side of the winner paid window. To activate a 10 coin payout, Press the spin reels button on the player panel or pull the handle. It might be noted that when working on a short pay or extra coin paid out problem, doing this test seven to ten times would be recommended to verify proper operation. We will now consider these same tests on a video game. Again, note that the lower section of the candle is flashing because the door has been opened. Also, in the upper center of the screen is a security message stating, Door Open. Notice, too, that the credit display shows a zero. All credits that existed prior to the opening of the door will be reinstated. Pressing the self-test switch once will bring up the input's display page showing the current state of each input. These may be activated by pressing the appropriate button, changing a switch setting, or other activity, as with the hopper level probe. Pressing the self-test switch a second time will bring up the output's display page with instructions on how to move the cursor and activate the output. Pressing the self-test switch two more times, for a total of four, brings up the hopper test page with instructions. In this case, momentarily turning the jackpot reset switch clockwise will cause a 10 coin payout. In many situations, isolating a problem while troubleshooting may require swapping out parts as an aid to determine if a particular part is at fault. IGT's modular machine design greatly enhances a technician's speed and ability to resolve problems during the troubleshooting process. Before taking any parts out, I'd first, I would first want to power off the machine and start with a coin tray. Go up on it, comes out very easily. Next, the hopper. And then remove all three reel assemblies.
Next, I can take this top glass off quite easily. And the bill acceptor or bill validator comes out easily also. Next, I can take out my pro the processor board. I simply pulling down, pulling up on it, pulling straight out. Coin comparator. And using a Phillips screwdriver on two screws. Disconnect the harnessing and effectively dismantled the whole machine with the exception, exception of the wiring harnesses and the buttons and switches. As you can see from this demonstration, IGT's modular machine design makes repair and replacement of parts very quick and easy. Everything is readily accessible. IGT's video games are also as easy to disassemble for the repair or replacement of parts. Okay, once again, always want to power off, first of all. And as you can see, the same basic modular components are in the same places, with the exception of the monitor, the processor board, and the motherboard it seats into. So. I'll demonstrate how to take out the monitor first and then the processor board. Monitor is very simple. One plug in the bottom of the monitor, pull straight down. Being careful not to break it. And monitor comes straight out. Processor board, just as simple. Pull it straight out. You have the processor board and the motherboard and all the rest of the components, essentially the same as with the S+. Plus. Reviewing what has been presented so far, a technician needs to be familiar with a number of items that relate to the troubleshooting process. First, he should know machine setup options and be familiar with the modes. A good mechanic will need to know how to recognize and resolve tilt codes. And you'll also need the ability to use the self-test diagnostic functions so that you can verify inputs and outputs. And the mechanic will want to understand IGT's modular machine design as part of repair and replacement. When a mechanic is called to handle a machine problem, it's necessary that he or she have a method of applying those tools learned so far. A simple method of logically isolating the cause of a machine malfunction using these tools could be called a troubleshooting model. Our model is simply a five-step method for solving a variety of machine problems. These steps are verbally determine the type of problem the customer or floor attendant is having. Visually inspect the machine. Test the machine using game